Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about actuarial math and specifically we'll talk about conditional probability. So I'll share my screen with you. An actuary has studied the likelihood that different types of drivers would be involved in at least one collision during any one year period. The results of the study are presented below. So there are different types of drivers, teen, young adult, midlife and senior. In the second column, we have percentages of all drivers. For example, teen consists of 8% of all drivers. Uh, and then the last column, probability of at least one collision in each category. So for example, for teen, it is 0.15, for young adult, 0 0.08 and so forth. Given that a driver has been involved in at least one collision in the past year, what is the probability that the driver is a young adult driver? So how do you solve it? So what we do is let's assume the sample size n equal to 100 and then uh, the total Number of teens is eight. Total number of young adults is 16. Uh, total number of um, midlife is 45. And total number of senior is 31. We will multiply the total of each category with the corresponding probability of one at least one collision to get the number of collisions in each category of the sample as follows. OK, so we have uh, four columns, uh, teen, young adults, midlife, and senior. Now, co collision greater or equal to 10 is the first row. No collision is the second row. Collision greater or equal to 1 means at least one collision. So for 10, it will be 8 multiplied by 1 point, um, 0 0.15, which is 1.2. For young adults, it will be 16 multiplied by 0 0.08 and so forth of collision greater or equal to one, that means at least one collision. And the no collision will be the complement event. So if 0.15 for 10 is the collision, at least one collision, so 0.85 will be the complement event of no collision. So it is 0.85 times 8 is 6.8 and so forth for the other columns. Now we total the columns, we get the total number of teens, young adults, uh, midlife and senior, and we total each row to get the first row, we will get collision of at least one, which is 5.83, and no collision is the rest, which is 94.17. And we add up the sum of the two rows, we get 100. We add up the sum of the columns, we get 100. So 100 is your total sample size. Now we are required to find out what is the probability of young adult given the driver was involved in at least one collision, okay? So a driver was involved in at least one collision. So the, the total of number of collisions at least one is 5.83 out of which 1.28 comes from young adult. So probability, the conditional probability of a young adult given driver involved in at least one collision is 1.28 divided by 5.83, which is 0.2196. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel because we transform life with math coaching, okay? And I'm coming back next time with another problem from actuarial math, okay? Take care, see you next time.